Jim Donnelly has already won $14,500. He is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is, it is just below New York. Subway! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Flurry. Oh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble. It's a television version of everyone's favorite game. Home view award was sent in by K.L. Spots, York, Pennsylvania. Got a T-shirt for her. The jackpot today is worth five thousand. Knocked that off the last time. Uh, winner's going to get a chance that later on the show. And Charlie has her first two players. Charlie. She's a writer. He's our champion. Originally from Detroit, Michigan, Alana Hamill. And originally from Alton, Illinois, Jim Donnelly. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Alana? Hello there. Yeah, yeah your, your name is almost Alana Hamilton. It you know sure who Alana is. Hamilton is? She yeah. was married to Rod. Stuart yeah, and, and George, George Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah, she's, uh, I don't know who she's married to now, but she's Alana something else. I'm anyway. engaged, but I'm not married to anyone just well, yet. Well, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a writer, and I'm happy to say I've just sold my first screenplay. Oh, how nice. Yeah, That's very nice. Yeah, so I'm Good excited. And as I said, I'm engaged to Patrick McCord. He's wonderful. Good. Well, it's nice to have you here, Thank Alana. Thank you. Good luck to you. Jim's got 14500 and he's doing very, very well. I uh, made that in about a half hour. So uh, tell us more, Jim. Well, I... Um, I'm loving this game, and I love being here, and I'm ready to spend my Anybody money. Anybody you like to say hello to? Um, I would like to say hi to some people. Um, say hi to Bob, Brenda, Tony, and all my friends from the University of Illinois. All right, that's enough, Jim. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Let's see, Alana's a challenger. She's going first. We're going to play Scrabble. If somebody gets three words right, that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. Have a chance to bonus sprint with uh, $5,000 in it. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. Building on the letter I, eight letters in the word, and the clue is they're famous for their country music. And watch out for those pink and blue bonus squares because they're worth money, okay? They're famous for their country music. Okay, I'll take two squares, an eight and a seven. So it looks better. Why don't you put them down the slot there? <laughs> like this? Now, then people will really think that computer works. Like then. <laughs> okay. See how they just kind of magically pop that in? Okay, I'll place the M. No, well, that's okay. what you get for not putting them in the slot. No. Okay. Okay, Jim. I'll take the three. Okay, well, I'll take a choice. C, please. They're famous for their country music. First position in the word. And place that other C. Okay, um, I'll take two more tiles, a five and a four. K or an E? Um, the K, please. Let me warn everybody in the audience, be very quiet. Now, don't tip these off. We have okay. to go back and do it again. Everybody um, gets mad. I know it. Crickets. That's exactly right, yes. Wow. Awful good. Just so you folks out home, because you don't see me do that very often, thought that I heard something. I didn't. I just wanted to make sure we have a huge audience in here today. Huge. <laughs> okay. Alana, building on the letter E in cricket, six letters in the word. The clue is some of them appear bottomless before wide-eyed young men. <laughs> Thank you so much, writers. I'll take the eight and the three. She's learning. A G or a P? I'll take the G. Some of them appear bottomless before wide-eyed young men. And the P? No. Okay, Jim? I'd like the one and the two. O and a R. The O, please. That's worth a thousand dollars, Jim. Some of them appear bottomless before wide-eyed young men. Want to take a chance at it? I don't know. It's the R. Okay, have to go for two more tiles. The six and the seven. S or a T. Um, the S, please. Can't give you the last letter. Some of them appear bottomless before wide-eyed young men. Well, you're going to give it to him or not? Pass it. Okay, Alana? Gorgeous. That's exactly right. It's gorgeous. Yes. That was out of you were you were buzzed out. I know. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, here we go, Jim. Building on the letter O in gorgeous, eight letters in the word. The clue is the great equalizer. Give you a thousand dollars. Tell me what this is. The great, the great equalizer. equalizer. No, I don't know it, so okay. I'll go for the six and the ten. I and an A. Um, the I, please. And the A. The great equalizer for a thousand dollars. Last chance. The great equalizer. Okay, I'm gonna have to take two more tiles. The three and the one. <clears throat> D or an L? Um, the L, please. Over to you, Alana. The great equalizer is the clue. I'll take a nine, please. D or a T? I'll take the D. And I'll take the T. The great equalizer. Take two more tiles, the eight and the seven. D or an S? I'll take the D, please. The great equalizer. Addition. That's right, it's addition. Good game. Okay, Jim, building on the letter I in addition, six letters in the word, and the clue is success uh, was in his genes. Success was in his genes. Okay, I'll kind take... Kind of like a Hallmark card, isn't it? The four. Just enough to say the very best. And the two. Enter an S. Okay, the N, please. Success was in his genes. Okay, I think that S is a stopper. Calvin? That's right, yes, very good. It's all tied up, anybody's game. Hands on your buzzers, don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter, that's up to you, okay? Good luck to both of you. We're building on the letter A in Calvin. There are seven letters in the word. The clue is, it's cutoff point. It's a cutoff point. Ready? Go. It's a cutoff point. Jim. Harvest. That's right, it is harvest, yes. That was a good game, though. That was a good game. A lot of you played very, very Thank well. You. We don't have any money for you, so we have something else. And it's a telephone answering machine. I need one. Well, good. This is a good one, too. Charlie? A lot of for you, Emerson's Deluxe Integrated Telephone and Answering Machine. Features beeperless remote, voice-activated recording, and 10 memory auto dial. A fine product furnished by Emerson. Yeah, we're both looking at it on the monitor over here. You get to see it at home, but you can see it. Yeah, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for playing the game. Well, Jim just keeps uh, the rich get richer. 14,005 you came into this with. Now you got one, two, three, four, five. Give you another thousand, fifteen thousand, five hundred dollars, and we'll be back. Stay with you. Scrabble and Chuck Lorre. Jim Donnelly has $15,500. Uh, he's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Reminds you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers okay. in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Jim, what are you going to yes. do with all this dough? I mean, you, I never even asked you yet. $15,500. Uh, pay off some bills, spend a little, and invest a little. So. Ooh, that is all. really boring, Jim. I know, I know. <laughs> all right. I'm going to Europe. Okay. All right. Better. Better. <laughs> all right, here we go. First word, five letters. He has a pat hand. He has a pat hand. Ready? Ready. Go. K. A. Say Jack. Yeah. The second word has seven letters. He speaks in relative terms. He speaks in relative terms. Ready? Yes. Go. R. P. N. He speaks in relative terms. Grandpa. Very nicely done. That could have worked out a completely different way. Third word, eight letters, a short story. A short story. Ready? Ready. Go. N. V. A short story. T. G. Vignette. Yes. <laughs> the last word has nine letters. It can happen in a compromising situation. It can happen in a compromising situation. Ready? Ready. Go. M. T. 
G. It can happen in a compromising situation. Agreement. That's exactly right. Yeah! 20 point nine seconds. <laughs> those, I think, I, I may be mistaken, but I think those are probably among four of the hardest ones we've ever had. And you just nailed those down. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. I don't think anybody will be there. <laughs> Two new players, and we're going to meet them right now. She's a teacher. He's an attorney. From North Hollywood, California, Angela Campolo. And from Los Angeles, Larry Ralston. All right, nice to have you both with us. How are you, Angela? Hi, thank you. Tell me about yourself. All right, I'm originally from North Long Beach, now living in North Hollywood. So I'm a Northern Southern California girl who's currently also bi coastal. Living oh. on the east and the west. Sorry to hear that. No. <laughs> I'm not. I'm enjoying it. Oh, good. It's nice to have you here, Angela. Thank good you. luck to you. Hi, Larry. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, Chuck, I'm a civil litigation attorney here in Los Angeles who had a rather interesting and rewarding upbringing as the son of a head coach of a major college and NFL team. Well, who is it? <laughs> John Ralston. He oh. coached the Denver Broncos oh, yeah, in the sure. mid-1970s. Yeah. Nice to have you here, Larry. Good luck to you. That must have been an interesting upbringing, for <laughs> it sure. It was very interesting. Did you play football? A little bit in high school. Did he just say, always... come on, Larry, you got to do no, it? Never. No, never. Never did. Well, that's good. Yeah. Who won the toss? I did. All right, let's go to the board. We're building on the letter T, nine letters in the word, and the clue is... <clears throat> Some secretaries go into the boss's office and take them down. Some secretaries go into the boss's <laughs> office and take them down. I'll take the six and the seven. Play oh. CO, please. Mm -hmm. And the N. It's worth $500. Some uh, secretaries go into the boss's office and take them down. Give it a try. Notations. That's exactly right, yes. It's never what you think it is, is it? Yeah. You guys plan it that way, don't you? Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's Jan's clue. It's Jan's clue. I'm sure. Was it Jan's? Was it Jan's? <laughs> of course. One, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. However, it wasn't very hard. Billing on the letter N in notation, six letters in the word. The clue is bridegrooms sometimes agonize over it. Angela? Bridegroom sometimes agonize over That's right. it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take number seven and six. N or an A? Give me that N, please. Bridegroom sometimes agonize over it. <clears throat> Try the A, please. No nope, stopper, Larry. Okay, I'll take the five and the four. R or an I? Let's try the R. It's worth $1,000, Larry. Bridegrooms sometimes agonize over it. Want to take a chance? Don't see it. Not even a clue, huh? Place the I. Bridegrooms sometimes agonize over it. Nope. I'll take the 8 and the 1. A D or an E. Place the D, please. Dinner. Yeah, that's a little hard to miss that one. Dude. It's two to nothing, Angela. You got to. You just can't hold on to this thing. You got to jump in here now. Come okay, on. Okay, I will. Building on the letter R in dinner. Eight letters in the word. The clue is neatness counts with them. Give you a thousand dollars if you can tell me what this is. Neatness counts with them. Neatness counts with them. Well, don't get the thousand dollars right now. Okay. Maybe later. All right. File number nine, please. And number three. C or a T? Let's try the T. Neatness counts. And the C? No, stop it. Larry? Okay, I'll take the six and the two. L and an N. Place the N, please. Neatness counts with M. Don't pay any attention to that sound effect. He's been drinking this morning. <laughs> You can tell by the laugh in the background he's been drinking this morning. And the L, please. See, that's where he meant to do it. 
<laughs> Angela, neatness counts with that. All right, well, I'm gonna take tiles. <clears throat> number four, please. Only one stopper left. And o. number one. And an S. S, please. Neatness counts with them. The O. Neatness. Can you repeat the clue, please, Chuck? Neatness counts with them. Neatness counts with them. Well, it's up there, I know, but it's not here, so I'm going to go for two more tiles. Okay. Number five. And I. number ten. And an N. Yes. N, N, please. No. Oh! You know what it is, Larry? Sure don't. For the game. Okay, we're in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Last letter's up to you. Neatness counts with them. Ready? Go. Le uh, Angela. Janitor. That's exactly right. Boy, that Jay. Jay never showed. It's two to one. Larry's going for the game. Angela is trying to tie it up. The uh, bell means that we're out of time, so we're still in speed word. Here we go. Good luck. Building on the letter A in janitors, six letters in the word. The clue is where you can find the upper crust. Ready? Go. Where you can find the upper crust. Where you can find the upper crust, Larry. Bakery. That's exactly right. One, two, three. Well, hope you need a phone answering machine, Angela, because that's what you get. You do? Oh, two for two. We did real well. All right. Congratulations. Thank Thanks for playing. And Larry, Larry's got a thousand dollars. He's going for another thousand right after this. We'll be back. Good Larry. Thank you. Time I was there. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Uh, Larry and I are just chatting away about being at the Super Bowl in 71. I think it's the last one I made. That's almost 20 years ago. You realize that? I, get to, I need to get to one next year. Okay, Jim Donnelly has $15,500. You're a rich person. You know that? Good night. 20.9 <laughs> is the time to beat. Larry Ralston's going to try to do that. He has $1,000. Going to play the same four words. Mind you, there are no stoppers. All the letters are good. Uh, hit your plunger. That's what stops a clock. And stuff like that. Okay? Here we go. Good luck. First word, five letters. He has a pat hand. He has a pat hand. Ready? Ready. Go. K. S. J. He has a pat hand. Say Jack. Good. You don't need to break it, just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> just, second word, seven letters. He speaks in relative terms. He speaks in relative terms. Ready? Ready. Go. R. P. G. He speaks in relative terms. M. Grandpa? That's right. Third word has eight letters. A short story. A short story. Ready? Ready. Go. T. V. N. A short story. G. That's what we were looking for. And then it went on with agreement and having a compromising situation. Those four tough words. Very nicely done. I, when Jim got that 20.9, I felt like he sailed through it. Actually, the one that I was surprised about was Grandpa, because if you didn't pick that P, it could have been Grandma. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, that's you know, it, it could have gone both ways, but you both happened to pick that, and so it gave you a leg up on that word. But uh, agreement was the last word, and it was tough to get to. And uh, and Vignette was very tough to get to, and he nailed that one really quick. It was a very good effort by both of you. Thank you, Larry. $1,000. And uh, Jim's going to come back with his $16,500 and try to make it $21,500. We'll be back. Hey, Larry. And now, back to Chuck Woolery and today's winner. Thank you, Charlie. Jim Donnelly, 16-5. 21-5 sounds good. That sounds great. No, it's actually, yeah, it's 21-5. That's what it would be. Okay. Okay. Two words under 10 seconds. You've done this two days in a row, actually, uh, with almost uh, everything I've given you. So good luck on this one. Okay. You can do it. You can do Hope this. So. Put your mind in the right place. Six Two. letters on the first word. Okay. A good mark in history. A good mark in history. A good mark in history. Ready? Ready. Go. A. 
Anthony. Very nicely. <laughs> well, you picked up on that one. Second word, seven letters. Now, this shouldn't be too tough with the right letters. You've got okay. time for them. You have nine seconds, so you can place quite okay. a few letters. Seven letters. Movie land. Movie land. Movie land? Mm hmm Ready? Ready. Go. O. D. S. Movie land. T. Studios. You got it. That's it. Congratulations, Jan. Good job. Good job. Good job. I knew, I knew if you picked up on Mark oh. Anthony that you would definitely get studios because you'd have enough time. And uh, you, you movies, picked right so. up on him. Good for you. That's great. $21,000. $500. It's only been two days. Boy, what, a, what an earning capacity. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Come on down. Robin Williams brings life to a stuffy New England boys' school in Dead Poet Society. Ethan Hawke co-stars in the USA movie Tonight at 9. Now, stay tuned for MacGyver after this USA update next. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scrabble is a Reds Grundy production.